Hello, STEAM team. Welcome back to this month's activity. My name's Chris Liu. I'm a librarian with the Belmont Library, and I'm here to do your video tutorial on how to build your bubble bots. So as a reminder that each month, the STEAM team will be doing a program uh, centering on science, technology, engineering, art, or mathematics. And this month we are working on technology and bobble bots. So very first thing I wanna do is get into the materials that you're gonna need for this project. They should be included in your kit. Um, yeah, so let's go over it. One of the first things you're gonna need is your capsule, a coin cell battery, a motor, and a couple pieces of double-sided tape. For the mechanics part, we wanted to talk about how you're actually creating or it's instead like harnessing that electricity to get your bot to move and essentially make it a small vehicle. So each of our motors will have a positive and a negative wire. It'll be blue for negative and red for positive. And our coin cell batteries will also have a positive and a negative side. Usually coin cell batteries have the positive side etched in with a plus mark and the negative side with a minus sign. Sometimes they'll just do a plus sign. Sometimes you'll get the plus sign and the minus sign. So check and make sure what kind of battery you have. Um, I can't guarantee everyone's gonna get the same battery, so it might look a little different. So your battery is gonna be special and unique to, to your situation. Uh, in my case, I don't have a negative sign on this battery, but I do have a positive side. So that tells me if this side's positive, this side has to be negative. So when we connect the positive side of our motor and the negative side to the battery in the same way, we get that movement. And that's kind of a process. We're gonna tape everything down, make sure that these things are connected, pop it in our pill capsule, and we're gonna make that vehicle. All right, so the very first step is to take one of our pieces of uh, double-sided foam tape and secure it to the bottom of our capsule, just like this. And then you can go ahead and peel off, if you haven't already, the other side of your sticker. There we go. So now we have one side secured and the other side is fresh tape ready to go. From there, we need to go ahead and pick a side of our wires. Either side works. I wanna stay positive. Always good to be positive. So we're gonna start with the positive side. And what we need to do is secure our positive wire to the positive side of the battery. So I'm gonna set this wire down on this fresh piece of foam tape, and it's pretty sticky. It will stick pretty well. So we secured that down, and now we need to set the positive side of our battery down on top of the wire. That's where you're gonna to wanna to check and make sure that your plus sign is on the positive side of the wire, or if you're doing the negative side, which is totally fine too. You wanna to make sure that the negative side of your battery is taped over the negative wire so that they're touching. You can check because then if you think you've done it right, you should be able to touch the other wire to the top of the battery and get your motor to move. And you can see that we're doing that. So our connection down here is good. What we're gonna need to do for our next step is secure the negative side of the battery to the negative side of the motor. Peel this off. Get that connection going, lay it over top of the battery, and now everything is taped into place. And you can take this motor and tape it to the top of the battery. And now we have a really nice self-contained little system. When you're ready, you can go ahead and put your capsule together. All right, we have our motor system in place inside of our capsule. Our capsule's all sealed up. We are ready to go. So you just set it on a table and let it do its thing and go where it wants to go. Okay, so that's really the, the technical portion of this, uh, this build. Everything else comes down to kind of your design, your creativity, and how you want to make the project your own. So, things that you might consider. Maybe you wanna decorate, ooh, I dropped it. Maybe you wanna decorate the lid for your capsule. Maybe you wanna draw some eyes on there, give it a name, make it a creature. Maybe it's a robot. I don't know, this is your thing. It's not my thing. Um, maybe this is the side where the face goes. Maybe it's not a face, maybe it's feet. You get the idea. It's all about how you wanna personalize and customize the build so that it is 100% uniquely yours. Um, yeah, so thanks 
for sticking with me through the program. Feel free to rewind and rewatch if you didn't get all the steps the first time. That's why the recording exists. We will see you next time for STEAM Team, where we'll be doing engineering.